Let's make some car diffusers out of this wool garland I got at Michael's. Hey, everybody. It's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy, if you didn't know. And if you did, thanks so much for coming back. All right, so we get this wool ball garland at Michael's. You just cut the string off the end, and then you can pull the beads off. I'm using some floss. And yeah, I always overuse. <laughs> so it's probably two feet long. Love me through it. So then I put a tapestry needle on it, or an embroidery. It's one of the bigger needles with a bigger eye. And I thread my um, floss to that. And then I'm going to start um, threading all of my wool beads on. You're going to need seven in one color and then one with a contrasting color, okay? So, and you just keep threading them on. Again, I have a lot of floss here. It's okay. I like to have too much versus not having enough. It's just my opinion. All right, so here we go. I've got all seven of the wool beads or ball, I don't know what, whatever, the wool stuff, <laughs> and I'm going to tie it in half. Now, let me say this. This is the hardest part of the whole thing. I'm going to tie it. You have to tie it in a double knot, but it wants to pull apart, so you have to hold the wool beads together <laughs> so it doesn't, you know, want to spring apart. I actually had to use, I put one end in my mouth and held it so that I could do the double knot, but however you need to get it done, there you go. All right, so then once we have that, we're going to put our two pieces of floss back together and I'm going to put them back on the needle. I'm going to figure out how long-ish I want it to hang and we thread our needle and now we're going to use a clothespin just a regular old clothespin you can get them at dollar tree whatever and you see how it has that little springy hole thing there i'm going to put my needle through that and then we're going to take the um floss off of the needle and there we go perfect now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just knot the floss around itself just so that it can stay in that center spot. I want the floss to hang in the center, if that makes sense. So all I'm doing is just double knotting there. And you'll see now it goes to the center. And next, we're going to thread our needle again, and we're going to add another contrasting color of wool bead. Now these happen to be my brand color for Blessings Craft Therapy. <laughs> you can use any colors actually I wound up doing another one and it looks just like a daisy and I'm there for it but so see how I did that one and it fits right in the center it's awesome so then what I'm going to do is take the needle off of our thread again our floss and I'm going to separate them because you know how we had two big strands right we're going to put it in half and I'm going to put one half in front one half on the back and now we're going to tie it listen it was that easy like that's it you could add beads to this. You could add a tassel and all the bells and whistles if you wanted. I'm a plain Jane. I kind of liked it really simple. But see, all I did was knot it at the end. And then we're going to cut off the excess. But, I mean, quit it. How cute is this? I love it. And now you have, so I'm going to, it's on this little paper, not paper. I keep saying paper clip. It's not a paper clip. It's a clothespin. You could put that on the vent in your car, add a little essential oils, and now you've got a car diff diffuser. I mean, stop, right? Look at how cute these are. See, I told you I did a daisy and I did a bee as well. Stay tuned for that. Anyways, friends, thanks so much for watching and I hope this inspires you.